Southeast Missouri head coach Tom Matukowicz. Uh, the Red Hawks now five and one, five straight wins, two and zero oh in the OVC. Uh, they're entering their open date. They're coming off the win over Tennessee Tech. Uh, they'll be back in action next on October 22nd at Northwestern State. Uh, and then they have Eastern Kentucky and back-to-back non-conference games there. So, Coach, just some thoughts on your team, and then we'll go to some questions. Yeah, just really happy about the win. Uh, we thank a lot of Tennessee Tech. They're a proud program and have a tremendous amount of respect for Coach Alexander. And so uh, just a real quality win. You know, it's a good football team that will uh, win some games coming out. And so now we're just looking for uh, some uh, – looking forward to a break a little bit. Um, I think we got a rest, um, but we still need to stay productive and, and all those things. Um, and it's a challenge during the off week of, you know, how much do you practice, all those type of things, and every team's different. And so we're just working through that. Thanks, Coach. We'll go to some questions. Jake uh, from WSL, go ahead. Uh, Coach, good morning for you. So I'm curious to know, now that you've got 11 days between now and your next game, how do you guys uh, stay focused and not let this success suddenly slip away knowing you have those extra couple of days? Well, I mean, we're fighting biology too. I mean, biology, we're not created uh, to keep – focus on the process and uh, block out all the distractions and, and all the sugar-coated lies that people want to say. And, and so it's just, it's a challenge. Um, but for whatever reason, I trust this team. And I, I shouldn't say that. I trust this team because of how they've handled themselves since January. Um, this is the first time in the history that I've been coaching football that we're not practicing as a football team this week. Uh, just really feel like we need a break. Uh, and I trust this team to, to have time off and use it to advantage and still be productive, but also be able to step away from the game and uh, all the pressure. You know, when you're winning, uh, really the pressure and all this stuff mounts. Uh, and it's only going to get more and more. Once you get close to the top of the, the mountain or – the mission as we're trying to be on, you know, the the stress gets unbelievable. So we need a time to just disengage a little bit from that mission and allow ourselves to relax. What do you want your players to do when they're not, not thinking about football? I just want them to, yeah, I'm giving them like our keys to victory. It's, it's rest, uh, take care of themselves, but make sure your body weights are maintained, all those type of things. Uh, the second thing is reflect. I think there's real power in just reflecting on where we've been and where we've come from and also just the opportunity that lies in front of us and how uncommon that is. And so uh, Reflect on why you even play football. Why do you play a team sport that's going to ask you to sacrifice your individual goals for the team's goals? And then uh, lastly is recommit. Recommit to what it takes to accomplish the mission. And don't get bored with the process. You know, uh, be my my focus and our team's focus this week. Does that mean you won't start watching film until next week on Northwestern yeah. State? Correct. How about you and how about you and your staff? What do you obviously you're not those guys aren't there. What are you guys as a staff doing that maybe might be away from football for the next couple of days? Well, most of us are recruiting. Uh, this is a big time for recruiting and get some live evals. I was tent camping. So I went camping to uh, Sunday and Monday. You know, I'm an average football coach, but I'm an elite tent camper. Unfortunately, my wife, Lena, will never be my BFF because she won't go t- tent camping with me. And so uh, I do it up by myself. But uh, that's really how I recharge. You know, everybody's different. My wife, if she needs to recharge, she'll go have a lunch with her girlfriends. But really with me, uh, I recharge by kind of going in the woods, cooking something on a fire and just reflecting and thinking about life a little bit. And so I did that and now I'm ready to work on this football team. 
And coach, let's, let's get back to football for a minute. Obviously, what were some of the positives you drew away from that, that victory on Saturday? Um, positive wise, uh, we are plus three. You know, the turnover margin is, is, is really the great equalizer and the quickest way for this football team to get beat. And to start to the season, we were pretty average. Offensively, we, we had done a, a solid job of taking care of the ball. Defensively, we weren't creating any takeaways. And so now the last couple of weeks, we've really focused on that. To go plus three was, was really impressive. I'll go ahead and add what, what I didn't like. Um, is is another threat to this football team is the penalties. You know, when the margins get tighter and the, the opponents get better, you know, that's how you get beat. Uh, so we had some stupid penalties that um, end up stopping drives or keeping drives alive, and that's that's ultim ultimately a, a great threat to the mission of this football team. And so we got to do a great job of, of taking care of that for next week. Are there any players who are maybe starting to catch your eye? I know obviously some of the big names uh, we all know, but anyone else, you know, now that we're a bunch of games in the season, maybe someone playing above their expectations? That's a great question. Um, offensively, I think Chiron Rogers, our left guard, uh, we asked him to play tackle some against Linda Wood and, He's really – we thought he could be a great player, but he's he's really becoming a, a dominant uh, offensive lineman in this league. I think uh, defensively, I would say London Manuel, uh, who's a captain, you know, um, but is is really playing at a, at a really, really high level. Um, I think – trying to think uh, special teams-wise um, – Probably our punt game, you know, we're, we're averaging, I think, minus three yards return. Uh, so, really, we haven't had a punt a lot, which is awesome. But when we have, we've done a really good job. You mentioned special teams. I know we spoke about this a couple of weeks ago. You said that the kicking game in specific, the field goal kicking unit, um, was an area of concern coming into the year. Have you seen them progress? I know they missed a couple, you know, they've had an up and down. But have you seen them progress at all? Yeah. You know, we've uh, there's three games in a row we missed a field goal. And this last game, we didn't, uh, you know, obviously we don't want to kick field goals when he runs out there because we made a mistake on offense, but he's got to go out there and correct that mistake and, and knock it through the goalpost. And he's a first time starter, really learning how to be an elite competitor, learning how to be a division one uh, kicker. And so uh, there's, there's going to be growing pains, but I could tell you right now, that he is uncommon. Like he, he sent me his get better plan and it was in a text message that was about this big and he was detailed and it really matters to him. And that's why I knew he was going to be successful. Uh, and I'm sure he'll still miss one or two. I mean, that, that it's just a process of learning how to, how to do this, but um, he is going to be successful because he's going to do everything it takes to be successful. And he ultimately does have a division one leg. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. One final coach question, Coach, we'll let you go. So it, coming into the season, if we said you're five and one uh, at this point, would you be happy with that? And I know there's always improvement to be made, but is this maybe one of the, the best case scenarios to where you are? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, if you're not happy at five and one, you're destined for a terrible life because these don't happen that much. Uh, but ultimately – you know, what you look for is just how are we playing compared to how we're capable of playing, right? Like, ultimately, that's what most coaches will want to do. And um, we're, we're close there, very uh, pleased with the mindset of the football team. And now we just got to, um, you know, get ready for this next tough road trip down in Louisiana. Well, Coach, I hope the open date uh, treats you well, and uh, we'll talk to you again in two weeks. Thanks, Kyle.